<laughs> what is going on, everybody? Depraved Sasha here, and we are back with another music reaction. I'm Depraved. I'm Hellcat. And together we are Hella Depraved. Yes, we are. And we're following our dreams. <laughs> and excited. Excited. We're here for the money. No, I'm kidding. Never. We're here for the breakdown. That's what, <laughs> we're here for. That's what I hope you're here for. It's right. The breakdown. <laughs> so uh, if we might cause a mental one, you know, you never know <laughs> the way we are. <laughs> so for those of you that have been following anything we've been doing today, we're live, not really, coming straight to you from India, apparently. Stop it. Did y'all know Indianapolis was in the middle of <laughs> India? I was asleep when he got home, which was about half an hour ago. I have not been caffeinated nearly enough. Thank you. Come again. So anyways. Yeah. <clears throat> also couldn't figure out the word left. <laughs> was staring at my, my hand like, I know that this is the... The direction. Blank one. This is the blank hand. <laughs> and that's what led us into directions. And I was like... I'm so turned around, having only moved here six months ago, under quarantine, no driving for me since moving here, don't know where we are. And I was like, but I do know Indianapolis is in the middle of India. India. She forgot an Anne. Yeah. Yeah. And there's that. There's yeah. the Anne. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we got the early <laughs> link. So we are here on time for once. Work schedules. But we're yes. super excited because this has Knox Hill, of course, but also Saman Savage in it. Too. So, Samad. Samad. You know, it's, it's I'm having problems with the words. Samad. Today. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Where my bitches? Where my bitches? India. India. <laughs> They're in India. You're gonna, you're gonna be in India pretty soon. <clears throat> so with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is Knox Hill and Samad Savage. This is. End game, battle sessions. Now, please understand we are reacting. This is if you have already seen it. If you have not seen it, please click the link in the description below. Hop on over, watch the video. Click like, leave a sub, like, leave a sub, comment. Let them know we sent you. If you're not subscribed to, now I'm gonna. It's gonna come Knox. out wrong anyway. Is it on Knox's or is it on? Knox. Well, I was I was gonna say hop on over to Smods too. Yeah. To subscribe to him as well. Yes. Yes. Do, do it. Do all of that. Do the things. All the things. All the things. All right. All right. So we're going to slash it up and break it down. Oh, well, we do that, by the way. Just this is be, a breakdown. Because we're a breakdown channel. We're going to pause breaking it down. a lot. It's obvious. My dreams apparently end up in the asylum. Lots of pauses. <sighs> especially for these guys. Well, especially since this is, I mean, we would anyway, but especially since this is a challenge. <clears throat> This time. This time. All right, guys. So, again, Excited. we're going to slash it up and break it down. <laughs> this is Knox Hill versus Samad Savage with Endgame. Hope y'all are ready. Let's get it. I'm so not. <laughs> Already an amazing bar. Samad Savage! I love that he always films outside. I feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. He must like, be. I know you're not, but I feel like you just like have areas around your house that you just walk. Oh, I'm going to go over there today. Well, I mean, like he's in the middle of the road. <laughs> Filming. Recording. I like, wonder, how does he know he's not going to be hit? I also wonder how many, if any, Marvel references we will get. Yeah, I'm expecting it. I'm hoping for him. <laughs> Shovel in my hand, up and digging two graves. Not my lines in the middle. You can take it two ways. This me. <laughs> Shovel in my hand, up and. He's been digging two graves. Dot my lines <laughs> in the middle. You can take it two ways. All right. <coughs> digging them graves. All right. All right, so he's digging two graves. 
I'm sure we'll eventually figure out what that's about here soon. Because right. I'm sure that's going to play into a future bar. But he says, dot my lines in the middle. You can take it two ways. That's in reference to a road. Right. Because if there's dots in the road, you're allowed to... You can pass. Pass. Right. Right. So... Shovel in my head, I've been digging two graves, got my lines in the middle, you can take it two ways, this me, but it's hard, break down, loose chains, put my drivers off, then you can use full gaze. Okay. <laughs> you can take it two ways, this me, this me, pay the toll, I break down like loose change. Toll, toll it's roads take, change, right? usually you just pay for with loose change. Well, hopefully if you're exact going change. to the toll, you know what you're going to have. Yeah, um, I've been caught in that not having the exact change don't do that guys don't but he's also saying i break down because he is also a breakdown channel channel yeah um but it's also playing into all the other car bars because it's like but my drive is authentic you get used food gaze right um so <laughs> i don't remember what the whole food gaze scandal was about i don't know at all I don't listen. I, I don't pay attention to politics very often. Right. Um, because I hate politics. All of it sucks. All of but it. But drive as in motivation for for the game as well as actual driving. <clears throat> right. Yep. Bet it's all I break down loose chains for my drivers off. Then you can use full gaze. Okay, back to the bottom of the motherfucking bottom. Talking roots, black thought, white kid was a product Bruce. Uh, ooh, ooh. Hold on. Full gaze. Okay, back to the bottom of. Back to the bottom. I'm talking roots. So right. roots, as in going to the bottom of the roots. Right, but, but also roots, is roots also, as in his. Go ahead. Roots is also a rap group. Yes. That I believe Black Thought was in. Okay. Even though Black Thought raps. What what solo show now. were they on? Uh, I don't know. Okay. But yeah. <clears throat> Black Thought White Kid was the product. All right. The motherfucking bottom talking roots, black thought, white kid was a product. Bruce you with a Batman, he's joking, still robbing. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce you with a Batman, but Bruce being a double on top right. there. Bruce, because he's going to hit in, you with a Batman. Yeah. And then Bruce, because Bruce Wayne is Batman. Right. Um, the Joker's still Robin, calling himself the Joker. Right. So he's Robin. Right. But Robin is also a sidekick yes, of Batman. <laughs> Gang banging ain't a bane if you never had options. Gang banging, gang banging ain't a bane if you have never had options. Bane is one of the villains bane. in the Batman series. Yes, I liked Bane. I liked animated Bane. Okay, I could see that. Movie Bane, regardless was, he, he was of movie, pretty was horrible. terrible. Yeah. Huh? It was pretty horrible. That's what I said. Yeah. Um. He was also saying gang banging ain't a bane. Talking about not a bane in your existence. Right. If you don't have options, like right. if you need to. Do whatever you need to do to make sure your family's fed. And honestly, a lot of them head. look up to the, you know, as, as children look up to um, the dope kings or whatever you want to call them. And so, therefore, they don't think of it as a negative. Right. If, if you don't have other options, if that is what you use to make money. But it also ties all back into the, the roots and the, the white product and so on and so forth. I, I was going to go with the roots, not just being the the tree roots at the bottom, but also, as you said, the um, singing group, but also roots as in ancestry. Right. That was the third thing that I was going to tie in. Thought white kid was a product Bruce suit with a Batman. He's joking, still robbing gang, banging at a bane if you never had options. Like a controller pirate, a PS4, got game. I'm the shoulder of your whore, which is leaving for a decon. <laughs> oh, Samad came in blazing. Never had options. Like a controller pirate. All right, like a controller prior to PS4. Talking about a controller for gaming, for video gaming. Got game because game is PS4. Okay. Video game bars. I'm the shoulder. You whore was just le your whore was just leaving for it. So. Shoulder to cry on. Yep. And other things. All right. That's also referencing the got game. Uh, yeah, I got game. Yeah. You with a Batman, he's joking, still robbing, gang banging, and a bane if you never had options. Like a controller, pirate, a PS4, got game. I'm the shoulder of your whore, which is leaving for a the consort. Of course, the divorce, of course, you'll be needing more. <laughs> the consort. But also, 
console. Right. Forced. <laughs> Forced to divorce. Of course, she'll be meeting more. Mm. All right. Swole pirate a PS4, got game. I'm the show that your whore was just leaving for a V consort. Forced to divorce, of course, she'll be meeting more. She needed hard, you would have thought that a knee was sore. He <laughs> which is leaving for a V consort. Forced to divorce, of course, she'll be meeting more. She needed hard, you would She needed hard. Talk about she needed the dick hard. Right. But she need, as in she dropped down to her knees. You would yes. have thought that her knee was sore. Yes. <clears throat> Watch out for that red burn. <laughs> but it also goes back to, like, the consort. Yeah, she's the side chick. Yep. Forced to divorce. Who? All right. Would have thought that I knew was sore. Need to pour. Need to pour. Rent. Did she call me a dick? Was it mad? Cause I'm really foreskin. Would have thought that I knew was sore. Need to pour. Okay. Need to pour. Neosporin. So that's the that's a double there because he's saying neosporin as in like to cure the rug. Burn. Yeah, exactly. But pour it in. <clears throat> um, then she called me a dick. Neosporin. Did she call me a dick? Was it mad? Wasn't mad because I'm really foreskin. Right. But foreskin. Right. Double. <laughs> Cause I'm really foreskin. I've been spitting with the drip. Look at all the urine. Only time I'm at the bottom is when I'm foreign. Oh no. Oh, this is a urine bar. I'm really foreskin. I've been spitting you... with the drip. Look at all the urine. You're, did you seriously, are you really coming with this? All right. <laughs> this, all right. This is savage. This, time. this is savage. Um, so I've been spitting with the drip. So gonna get demonetized. Thanks, I'm guys. just kidding. <laughs> you the look. That's the look. It's amazing. Don't get me wrong. It's just <laughs> go listen to Obi Trice drips. You'll understand uh, more what we're talking about. But, but he's also talking about with the drip, as in having right. And look at all that you're in, as in like your attire, what you're wearing, what right. you're driving. Yeah, the bling. <laughs> but you're in being a double because it's. My mom uses that that particular the urine thing all the time like thinks it's funny as hell mm -hmm. she's almost 80 guys you want corny i'll introduce you only time i'm at the bottom is when i'm flooring that was the part that i was shaking my head about only time i'm at the bottom is when i'm flooring okay so that's kind of a triple right right because it's not only time i'm at the bottom referencing a, a space like a space like basement at, Right. Yeah. Is when I'm flooring. So flooring is the act of laying down new floor. Right. But at the same time, flooring being about talking about being <clears throat> on his back when she's on top. Right. Or laying flooring on floor. also can mean like bottoming out inside, which means you're, you're hitting things that actually kind of hurt just slightly. So, yeah. To mad because I'm really foreskin. I've been spitting with the drip. Look at all the urine. Only time I'm at the bottom is when I'm foreign. I got my foot on the gas, the other foot in your ass. I hope that you're feeling lucky just like the hoof of a calf. I was wondering if he was going Ooh. to the foot on the gas with the, the flooring because you floor it when you're speeding. Like, right. when you absolutely, yeah. Uh, the other so foot got, in your got ass. got one foot on the gas, the other foot in your ass. All right. Pretty self-explanatory. You feeling lucky? I hope that you're feeling, feeling lucky, lucky just like the hoof of a calf because you put a horseshoe on the bottom of... Right. Any Hooves. type of, yeah, farm animal. And <laughs> horseshoes are usually considered a sign of luck. Right. <laughs> if we get an Andrew Luck Colts bar here. Oh, okay. All right. I let's, will throw let's my Let's try headphones. some foreshadowing here. I, I really was expecting him to go for the foot on the gas with the flooring, but I'm I, <clears throat> the other one in your ass. All right. Bottom is when I'm flooring. I got my foot on the gas, the other foot in your ass. I hope that you're feeling lucky, just like the hoof of a calf. I brought the soul out of Chucky, a metal hook in a mask, a core for a Yes! All right. You All win, right. you won. I'm sorry. You give us slasher bars and. Sorry, Knox. You lost on Automatic me. points. Some odd auto one here. That. I have to say something. His mask is amazing. It reminds me of every 90s kid. Right. Like, so coming with the, you know, game controller bars being you know before your ps4 or whatever hey i find it appropriate i like it i like it um all right so i brought the soul out of chucky because so the chucky doll was itself possessed. is just a doll but it's possessed by a the killer soul, soul. Of the bad guy yeah um <clears throat> which is why the doll becomes a killer doll and he also tries to jump from chucky 
at certain points as the doll gets more and more screwed up. Right. And also, he doesn't want to be a kid's doll. I mean, he fails miserably. Yeah, but, but that's the whole brought the soul out of. Um, a metal hook and a mask, which is kind of a double reference. Well, it could be referenced to so many things. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, Candyman was known for using a hook, so was the killer off of I Know What You Did Last Summer. I was summer. just going to say that, yeah. Um, and a mask, typical slasher. Slasher film. Film. You know, whether it's Jason, Michael. There's so many the of them, yeah. With chloroform Leather and a face. flask. Chloroform is the type of liquid you could dump on a rag, put it over their face, and watch them pass Knock out. Knock them out for a while. I've threatened to do that to my kids on several occasions. You know, and calms them down. On Elm Street with a task, again. All right, Freddy. All Freddy right. Krueger reference. Yep. That's that's great. <laughs> I'm here for it, Samad. I'm here for so it. So he's a killer, is basically what he's saying, guys. Yes. The soul out of Chucky. He is a... He's, he, he's got bodies. He's gonna murder you. Like he just like the hoof of a calf. I brought the soul out of Chucky, a metal hook and a mask. With chloroform and a flask on Elm Street with a task of proving those who ask in my sleep I can last in a battle and kick ass. You couldn't be this bad. The dreamscape. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so he's on he, he's on Elm Street with a task right, of proof. proving to those that ask, in my sleep I could last. Now that's in reference to the Elm Street thing, because on Elm Street Freddy chases people in their dreams. Right. So he's like, in Attacks my sleep, them in your, I could in last. their nightmares, yeah. In a battle and kick ass. I think, it, but that's also, it <clears throat> goes multiple ways, because he is saying that he could last against Freddy Krueger, but he's also saying he is the killer right. in this scenario, and he's proving to those who ask, so who ask for the smoke, the drama, that it doesn't take anything in my sleep. I could battle you and... Still win. You're 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 taking the L. Yeah, you couldn't be this bad. Right. <laughs> Anybody testing me can never get past. You could get past the way after you kiss ass. <laughs> Woo! Anybody testing me could never get past. So testing being trying him. Right. So um, you can't move past him, which is the P A S T, but you also can't pass the test, which is the P A S S C D. Right. And he says you can get past the way. After you kiss ass, I'm not, you can get murdered. Right. After you. After I put my ass on your yes. lips. <laughs> after I teabag your bitch ass. ass. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't be this bad. Anybody testing me can never get past. You can get past the way after you kiss ass. Quick with a stick of a big hit, a big spit of slick on a pitch when I'm swinging crack a jack, leave me shells. Sass. I got this one for you, baby. It's sports bars. Okay. Okay. So quick with it, stick of a big hitter. Again, baseball bat. Right, which is what I figured. I'm not that bad. Big spitter, slick on the pitch <laughs> when I'm swinging. The pitch is... When they pitch the when ball When they pitch the ball and yeah. you swing it for it. Um, the pitch is also in reference to, uh, like, on the pitch, on the concrete. Okay. Um, big spitter? Just rapping. Okay. That's what I... Plus, and swinging also means like in in the battle rap kind of thing. Plus, bas baseball players are also known for spitting. Yes, they are. Because they're always chewing tobacco. Tobacco. Yes. Tobacco. Yes, I know that. This bad. Anybody touching me can never get past. You can get past the way after you kiss ass. Quick with a stick of a big hit, a big spit of slick on a pitch when I'm swinging Cracker Jack. Leave me shell shock. Well, Jack play. Cracker Jack. <laughs> Cracker Jack. <laughs> But he's talking about cracking them with the baseball right. bat. But mm. Cracker Jack is a type of candy. Candied popcorn. Popcorn. Yeah. yeah. That always had a prize in the bottom of the box, which I think was the main reason most kids ever ate it. I didn't. I ate the shit out of it because I liked it. It's, it's, it's caramel in your corn. Teeth. I like caramel corn. I don't like caramel, and I don't like popcorn. Um, I'm going to lose subscribers for that. Anyway, yeah. But this says, leave you shell shocked. Well, jocked. Play ball. Um, jocks are, are sports yeah. players. And they say play ball often at the beginning of games. Right. Um. Quick with a stick of a big hit, a big spit of slick on a pitch when I'm swinging crack a jack, leave me shell shock, well jock, play ball, back him up on A-wall, general like Nate Palm on. <laughs> Ooh! A-wall. Pitch when I'm swinging crack a jack, leave me shell shock, well jock, play ball, back him up on. Back him up on a wall, back him up. But then A-wall is also... Yeah, when missing from missing. the Not army true. without giving notice. Yeah. And he says, general like napalm. Napalm. I being got something stuck in my fucking eye and it's irritating. A form of an explosive, bad 
that the army tends to use, general being a rank, but also in general. Right. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. On a wall, general like napalm, aren't you a baseball? Hot run, top gun, I'm an ace crew slum, but a base crew slug, got a pace we do. Top gun bars. All right, I see that. All right, so he says, aren't you a baseball? But he says it in a way that also makes out the word orange. Right. Um... <clears throat> Hot run, top gun, I'm an ace. Um, ace being a... It's the group of the, the military. The top guns are the ace uh, flyers. Right. Yeah. Aren't you a baseball? Hot run, top gun, I'm an ace crew slum with a base who... Tom Cruise played the lead character in Top Gun. Wasn't his nickname Slum? Or somebody's nickname was Slum in it. I don't know. It's been so long since I've seen Top Gun. I don't remember. Or was Bass. It might have been both of them. I do know one was named Bass. Well, but there was Maverick and Goose and Iceman. And those are the three that I remember, guys. But, yeah. Whose slug got the pace? Slug is another type of baseball reference. Right. Um, And, of course, Bass is being what you're running to. Right. Uh, Pacing. Yeah. Slug, got a pace, we dug, got a grave, firewalls, AOL, pick a mark. <laughs> firewalls. <laughs> we, we dug out a grave. Dug out is where... They all wait. All the baseball players wait to do whatever it is that they need to do. Right, but also... Um, but he's also saying he dug, dug out a grave. Dug grave. Um, firewalls, AOL. So firewalls are stuff that... Don't protect you against <clears throat> anything, but... <laughs> well, they're supposed to. They're supposed to, you yeah. You put up a firewall, and it's supposed to protect you from people being able to get into your system and things like that. Um, Don't rely on it. No. AOL being America You've Online. You've got mail. Um, pick a mark when I aim. Right. Which I, again, could be another bar. Top Gun reference. I'm not sure, though. Well, marks are normally but mark, your like picking a mark victim, is like your target. Your, right. Yeah. <laughs> when I aim, get this beat like an alcoholic father, these balls get raped. Ooh, I don't know, though. Pick a mark when I aim. Is also a baseball reference. Um, what's his face? Dude used to play for the Yankees a long fucking time ago. Babe Ruth. Okay. Used to do it all the time. He'd he'd point to where he was going to hit the ball. Oh, okay. And, and then, then he'd almost well, always hit it. And in I was that thinking that it, when he was talking about um, base and pace, that that uh, particular bar structure was also in reference to uh, music. Because you've got bass and you've got to keep the right pace and so on and so forth. Right. Beat this beat like an alcoholic father. Oh. That's so just... the term, um, something the beat. I don't remember the exact term. Is it beat the beat or okay. on the beat or something like that? Is a term for drinking. Okay. Um. Which is in terms playing into the alcoholic father, but also beating it like an alcoholic father because alcoholic Tends fathers are known to, to be enraged. violent towards their kids. Right. Um, and he says these bars getting raised again, playing on the father line, raising the bars, but right. Also, he goes to bars. Also, and, we're raising the the stakes in this game. Right. Yeah. Also, you could also put in the the bars like he he's potentially going to jail for that crap. Hopefully, right. hopefully. <laughs> like I okay, so raising the bar, and then he's playing off of that, saying right. like I lift the counter up, right? Because a bar counter. Um, I just did a couple features watching my account erupt. Right, I'm making the money. I'm making the money. Good job. <laughs> Yeah, I got a lot of will. Like a dude found a truck. Um, uh, that might be one that goes over my head. Yeah. Yeah, I got a lot of will. Got a lot of will, like a nigga found a truck. lost. Brandon's lost, ringing off. Something like the sound of a so like your ears ringing. Right. Which is annoying, by the way. Um, Tinnitus is a bitch. Right. Yeah. Bringing off something like the sound of a car that you got all taking that bar. I'm a cop car in the clear view of your rear view. Now you're 
Right. Okay. So I think the will, uh, like someone that just found a truck, is somebody that just stole a truck, and the will is the drive, and they're gassing it because then he went into something, the, the cops chasing you in your rear view. So okay. I think it's the will to get the get the fuck out of there. Something like a sound of a call that you call that you got. So playing ringing. off the ringing. That's um, why I keep my phone on silent, people. I'll chat you not. Talking about you're just all talk. Right. You're not raw. And then he's saying I'm a cop I'm <laughs> I'm a cop car in the rear view or in the, in clear, the clear view, view of view. your rear view. Right. Saying like he's like the hip hop police. He's about to pull your ass over. Right. Um call me I'll chat you not. I mean like, yeah, okay. <laughs> now, now you're stopped. stopped. Yeah. You got pulled over. Mmm. Alright. He's not wrong though. This could be a threat depending up depending upon the plot. Right. And he and he's saying that because depending on the plot of the story, if you're yeah. a white person, you don't know how it's gonna chances are end, you're probably yeah. gonna be we can foreshadow it for you. Right. You, you, um, you'll probably go to jail because you just stole a truck, but you know. Right. But in this, in, like, in this term, he's saying, like, if you're black, you don't know if you're getting popped. Because, right. to be honest, we're now in a day and age where it seems like you every don't day. don't know. Yeah. Every day, it's fucking happening. Right. And needs to stop. And, uh, but that first line also ties into, this could be a threat depending on how, how you act with the, the hip hop police and all that stuff. But I mean, he's throwing some real truth in there as well. Mm. Yeah. I, I like that he said, you know, just a little harsh reality. Just a little harsh reality. Just what we said. He's just he's dropping some truth in there. Right. <clears throat> some say it's the cop's salary. That's a fallacy. Again, it's just harsh truth. That is what some people have bandied about. That cops aren't paid enough to. I don't understand it because it's it's basically saying cops aren't paid enough to do the right thing. And I don't think that there's a price tag, I guess, on doing the right thing. Right. So that's, yeah, I, I, or they don't get paid enough to put themselves in the position that they could end up dying and therefore they just react way ahead of time. Again, it's a fallacy. I agree with him. Right. Let's get back to the tragic fact that you challenged me. He says, I'm fast, but I'm eating. But you'll be burning like calories. I'm talking about he's he's yeah. quick, but he's the one eating the beef. Right. And he says, and you'll be burning like calories. I'm going to burn you burn alive. Calories. I'm going to smoke you. Yep. Yep. I like it. Getting popped, uh, just a little harsh reality. Some say it's the cop's salary, that's a fallacy. But let's get back to the trash fact that you're counting me. I'm fast, but I'm eating, but you'll be burning like calories. They were counting me up, and now they're going to tally me. Now I'm in the game, and I balled on them like alopecia. All right. So he says like they was alopecia. counting me out. He was saying they was counting me out, but now they're going to tally me. Right. That's so whenever tally you're counting, marks. it's tally marks. Yep. Um, a lot of people use them. Um. He says, now I'm in the game and I balled. Like a baller on a basketball so, court. Again, being in the game. Um, <laughs> but being a, bald being a as in. But bald as in losing Alopecia, hair. which is, yeah, they, they tend to pluck. Yeah, it's pretty bad. That's. <laughs> I like how he said it. <laughs> I, I've been higher than Tally. For those of you that don't watch South Park, Tally is the Tal that seems to always be trying to get an autobiography written, but he's always stoned off of his fucking ass. He's actually in my favorite episode of South Park of all time is the one where Oprah, okay. Oprah's snatch holds up a bunch of people <laughs> with a gun. 
It is. It's fucking hilarious. Oh man. Oh. Okay. And he says, "And I'm a beast." Tell them check my genealogy. Right. My ancestry. Right. All right. I'm bald on him like alopecia. Uh, I've been higher than Towley, and I'm a beast. Tell him check my genealogy. Skill a motherfucker here. Fifty or seven is still simple. We ill still the ass. Kill a motherfucker. Blessed in a booth. Still I get the repentance. Boss buzzing on the proof. Farm up. Get the news. Stay. He's coming with a different kind of flow he here. Is. That I was. Towley, and I'm a beast. I was waiting for a good stopping point, and the way You're he's like, like uh -huh. flowing, I'm like, right. there's no good stopping point. Please tell him check my genealogy. Skill a motherfucker here. Skill a motherfucker here. Flip you a sentence. You were sending so simple. Spell still, but but, but we, we Ill. Ill. Steal the S. Steal the S. Which? Because if you take away the S. Yeah. All right. It's till. It's till. I think we probably need that. He's saying that he's a skilled motherfucker, by the way. But yes, then we go into spell still. Oh, yeah, skill. I Okay, as, that's what we were taking the S away. So he's taking the S away, uh -huh. so now he's killing a motherfucker. Blessed in the booth. Still, like, gift him repentance. Yes. All right. All right. <laughs> bars buzzing, I'm the proof. <laughs> Which is funny, so bars buzzing. Talking about his bars are buzzing, people are... Talking about it. Talking yeah. about it. I'm the proof. Buzzing again, an alcoholic term. Proof alcohol is proof the, the percentage, the percentage of, of yeah. alcohol. Bar him up. And he says, bar him up, referencing the alcohol again. Right. Get the noose. Right. So he can kill a motherfucker. Stay ahead of your ending. I'll pin a pin. <laughs> Stay ahead of your ending. That's what the noose your is for. Head, you put your head in the your noose. ending. Yeah. Blessed in a booth, still I get the repentance. Boss buzzing on the proof. Bar him up, get the noose. Stay ahead of your ending. I'll pin a pin. Penicillin, set it in. Still the villain. Stick a note in your throat. <laughs> all right i pin a pin penicillin. penicillin send it in still the villain send it in still the villain stick a note on your throat um hmm. uh penicillin normally comes in the uh needle with right. the pen in the pin <laughs> Okay, so ill with the quotes, so sick on them pads like lymph nodes. So, Your lymph sick nodes. on the pads. Yeah. He's talking about his, his writing. Right. But it's also playing the sick into I'm ill with the quotes. Quotes um, being what he's writing on the pads. Again, the sending out sick notes. Like, yeah. And he says on them pads like lymph nodes. Your lymph nodes is where your white blood cells are manufactured, and they tend to be uh, on your throat, which goes back to he's going to stick a, a note on your throat right? in the last one. And he and says, sending out sick notes. He's, still, he's handing out L's to y'all. <laughs> right, pretty much. <laughs> you don't want the smoke when you choke. A lot of people choke on smoke. Everyone typically does. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking more like bong rips, but yeah. But he's also referencing when you choke, as in mess up. Right. Well, and also the noose lines and everything. So yeah. Stick on them pads like lymph nodes, sending out sick notes. You don't really want the smoke when you choke. I am what you not hanging with your own rope. Put these lines on the use, fella. Hangman. Hangman. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he's continuing this this whole scheme like the entire way through. Right. The the sick penicillin, and he's just bodying everybody. So he says, I am what you not. He's basically saying, I, you know, I'm everything you wish you could be. Right. Essentially. But not as um, in the type of knot that you tie in a rope like a noose. Hangman's noose. Yeah. Um, hang with your own, hang you with your own rope. He says, put these lines under you, spell hangman. Because when you're playing hangman. It's, yeah, lines under you that, but also the hang you with your own rope is the reference to the saying, like, I'm going to give you just enough rope to let you hang yourself right means they know that you're moving shady and they're watching you and let you know letting you tell your lies or whatever until you finally do get caught and basically it's your own damn fault right shake them the quick and i bake them then take them and break them i'm making a statement placing my stake in the face of a hater 
Okay. Shake them, they quake. Shake them, they quake, and I bake them. Okay, so first off, shake and shake bake. Shake and bake. Yeah. This type of food. We're going to get that out the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is shake them, they quake, because when you shake somebody... They're quaking, they're quaking in their boots normally. Yeah. Um, I bake them, then take them and rake them. Rake them over the coals. Right. Meaning showing all of their stuff to everybody. I'm making a statement, placing my stake in the face of a hater. Wood stake. Right. Almost vampiric there. Right. Making a statement, though. Can I bake him, then take him and break him? I'm making a statement, placing my stake in the face of a hater. I stick him, fillet him, but I don't cater with my kidneys. Well, the fuck are you basic? If you hate it, then say it. I don't. I'm <laughs> placing my stake in the face of a hater. I stick him, I stake him, fillet him. A fillet is a type of steak. Right. Talking about he's just he's grilling them. Yep. Um, but I don't Again, cater. You can smoke it, and you do it over the coals. Yep. He says, but I don't cater with my cadence, saying he's not going to cater to somebody just because, like, like he's not going to change up his flow, right, to fit a style that you feel like he should do. Which also means flow, as in it could be like his lifestyle as well. Right. Um, you're basic. He's saying you're basic. If you <laughs> hate it, then say it. Yeah. Again, just don't offer false support. Right. Yeah. But I don't cater with my kidneys for the fuck you basic if you hate it then say it I don't really pick from the bacon or you want beef I get it catered for you vegan truth Chris on your Angus It's like if you hate it then say it I don't really pick I don't really break from the bacon Um, bacon is delicious It is, but it's also cooking in the kitchen as in the B-A-K-I-N Right So So he's like, I don't really break from Cooking up my next recipe for the songs Like I don't step away from my craft Right um, and he says, oh, you want beef, beef, again, just playing into the steak thing. And but also, you, you, you want trouble? Right. Yeah. From the bacon, oh, you want beef, I get it catered for I get it catered for you vegans. Because there are a lot of vegans nowadays. Yeah, there are. A lot of You know. But, you know, if you're asking for it. Right. That's a different thing. Ruth's Chris um, is a type of steakhouse. Right, and then Angus is a, a type of cattle, but it's also Angus Steakhouse and a type of uh, cut. It's also double for anus. So on your ass. Yeah. Put your big and Bruce Chris on your Angus. So he thinks he's the greatest. Leave him tired of the feet, shoe laces. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. He's getting tired of taking L's, but, you know. He also tie them shoelaces together and right. his feet are tied. Leave them tied at the feet, but also tired of losing. Mm -hmm. Translate, you're playing Las Vegas. <laughs> Translate, you're playing Las Vegas. Also playing, is also playing. Right. Las Vegas. Yep. Uh, it's, I'm fly, I'm clean, I changed it. The funny thing. Fly, you did not. I changed it. <laughs> oh fucking hell Samad we're only like uh, dude yeah, this is such a this long is, reaction okay huh places translate you're playing Las Vegas I'm fly I'm clean I changed it the funny thing is to thinking that the conversation on the plane is something I'm saying about not till ooh all right the funny thing is they thinking that the conversation I'm displaying is something I'm saying about not till because this is considered a battle session right and so it's considered they might be going um, at each other. A yeah. lot of people think they are actually talking shit about each other. Which is not. No. Yeah. No, that's for any rapper who's not ill. Only got a problem with people who do not got skills. And then All that's right. him clearing it up. Yeah. That's for any rapper that can't do it. Who can't bring it. Who can't yeah. bring it. Yeah. You don't have skills. I don't fuck with you. And he's also stating pretty much right here he doesn't have a problem with. Right. With Knox. With Knox. Yeah. I'm saying about Knox Hill. No, that's for any rapper who's not ill. Only got a problem with people who do not got skills. Cause Knox Hill was so in love when he heard of me. At the crypt, help me steal the attention like burglary. <laughs> people who do not got skills. Cause Knox Hill. And he's saying Knox Hill was showing love yeah. when he heard of me. So he's he's been supporting me right. since uh, I blew up here. And he's like, and after after crypt helped me steal their attention like burglary, cause he was on the side. Right, and then um, everybody started noticing. Right. Uh, but yeah, still, I mean, still like Burberry. Started. That's great. That's great. I was so in love when he heard of me. At the crypt, help me steal the attention like burglary. Big Decker told me I got it. Oh, what a courtesy! Shot the screw face for all the words that encourage. 
Nice. He I says, like the homage he's showing every, here. Yeah, he's showing everyone yeah. love that showed him love. Right. So he's saying, then Quideca told me I got it. What a courtesy. Because Quideca, one of the bigger Big, names. Yeah, so obviously, it, not just a courtesy, I'd fangirl. Right. Like, yeah, I, I get, shout out to Screw for and all the, the encouraging Screw had words. him on the Worldwide Cypher. Yeah. Um, and Screw, again, a really big name on the platform. Well, and plus they, they talk. So, right. yeah, all of the words of encouragement telling, again, I like the homage. I like that he's doing that here. And I liked the beat change. Right. That was great. Me to murder beast, and since the fire this. charge, the reason that they search me, now everybody get a body whenever they work with me. <laughs> okay, he's saying, Encourage me, encourage you know, screw face for encouraging me to murder beats, right? Intensify charts, the reason that, that they is... search in me. Intensify charts is, um, a program or app, it's like a program or app. Um, he says, Now everybody getting bodied whenever they work with me talking about he's a, he's showing he's, out he's on everyone's savage. stuff regardless yep. of who's on the track with yep. him most people are usually like some odds the best one right on right that encouraged me to murder beast and since the fire charge the reason that they search me now everybody get a body whenever they work with me do it for fatal with outlaw in these jersey streets my nature naughty you you heard of me mm. naughty by nature do it for fatal and outlaw in the jersey streets my nature naughty naughty by nature yeah um, you heard of me He's like, yeah, you heard of me. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm trying to think. I think Outlaw and Fatal are the are, names of the two yeah, dudes in Naughty by Nature. They are. I think. I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, you heard of me. Everybody get a body whenever they work with me. Do it for Fatal with Outlaw in these Jersey streets. My nature Naughty, yeah, you heard of me. Sleeping on a seven slicks to mod, that's dangerous. Sleeping on my heel, Nessie Knox, I'm anxious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sleeping on a savage like Samad, that's dangerous because Samad, Samad, Samad's beast. Samad's right, a beast and also, you, if you're around any savages, you don't want to sleep. No. Yeah. He says, sleeping on my hill, nasty Knox, I'm anxious, Knox Hill. Right. Sleeping on me. Yeah. Nature naughty, yeah, you heard of me. Sleeping on a savage like Samad, that's dangerous. Sleeping on my hill, nasty Knox, I'm anxious. I'm going to give them hell till they're falling like angels. I'm going to give them hell five nights from my angles. Sing all right. I'm going to give them hell till they fall in like angels. Right. Because um, the fallen, fallen angels, angels are the demons in hell. Right. As, as the religious mythology goes. Right. Right. I like that line. I like that play. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm going to give them L's. Right. Um, fire 90s with my angles. Fire 90s with my angles. Um, 90 degree angle. Right. But at the same time, like '90s bars, because he's yeah. Th that's the era he. The old, older school. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Stranger things. This is stranger things. Yeah. Things getting stranger. So stranger things being a Netflix show that right. I made it halfway through before I got bored as fuck. Um. Dealing with my anger. Dealing with my anger. I'm glad Every I have an Elm Thank you Whoever for the Whoever just said thank you. Um, but yeah, so dealing with my anger. Sneak diss this. Sneak diss this, because a lot of people do sneak diss. Yeah, and only shoot if you aim in. So either come out front and say it and bring it, or Shut the don't, don't bother. Yeah, right. yeah. And honestly, if, if you don't like something, like, unless it's a... Re it's a waste of energy to go around and just hate on everybody, guys. It really is. So, I mean, unless it's causing a controversy or something and it's a personal thing, it's not worth it. Right. Just don't watch. You don't do puns. Okay, it says, I don't do guns, I'm satellite weapons. All right, so, hey, guns, he, he's talking about, like, he doesn't use guns. Right. Also kind of in reference to, like... Not I a guess, gang banger. Yeah, he's not a gang yeah. banger. But he's also saying, I'm satellite weapons. That's a play in and of itself, because, so, satellite weapons are more known in, like, movies and video games and things like that. Right. So, like, in Gears of War, they Where have... Else? a gun that like you aim and the satellite shoots down a fire beam right. and it destroys some things. So, but he's also saying satellite weapons is in sending his bars through the internet 
through satellites. Uh huh. But he's also out of this world. <clears throat> right. <laughs> Which is the part I was giggling at. I don't do puns. Yes, you do, sir. Yes, you do. But yeah. <laughs> um, then he says, I don't do puns. Drop the pin. Right. Pin is normally in the grenade. Again, it's a type of uh, attack. But yeah, pen, as in the pen he uses to write his lyrics. Right. Don't do puns, drop the pen, let's check in. Keyboard warriors, I'm out, don't let's just tell them it in like I'm government elect. <laughs> mm. Keyboard warriors, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm outdoor lessons, but key door, keyboard warriors are also usually kids, so right. adolescents. But adolescents could also just mean they're immature. Right. It, it could. Um, and keyboard warriors are not normally found outside. No. Like, he's like, bring it, but bring it in person. Catch like, me outside! Right? Don't hide behind your, your keyboard. Yeah. Tell them, mail it in, like, I'm government elections. Of course, we are going through that right now with the right. um, option elections. to mail in elections so that we stay, you know, socially distanced. But he is, again, saying, like, show your face. Right. You know, do it personally. Don't hide behind whatever avatar you created. Right. Wait, I'm going to need you to address this. Use this opportunity to teach your friends a lesson. Ah, address. Then mail, mail plays it in. into the address yes. line. I'm going to need you to address this. Right. Use this opportunity to teach your fans a lesson. Mm-hmm. Um, as a black man, anxiety in my chest when I see people getting arrested with their neck bent. Talking about, again, referencing George Floyd. Right. Um... Anxiety in my chest when I see my people getting arrested with their neck bent. Knowing if I saw it in real life and I stepped in, cops use the weapon because I don't have my complexion. He says, knowing if I saw it in real life and I stepped in, cops would use their weapon because I don't have like He's complexion. not white. He's not white. He's African American. And again, this is just truth. This is him teaching all the fans watching this a lesson. He's he's dropping harsh truth. And let me tell you this now. If. If I was to ever be walking down the street and I seen a cop raise a gun to an unarmed person, white, black, or whatever, but especially if they're black, I'm stepping in front of them. Right. They're going to have to shoot through me because... Oh, I'm definitely saying something. I don't too, know if I... Too many, quick enough. too many people spend more time sitting there and recording than trying to Oh, that's help. what I was going to say. Too many people are filming. And I guarantee you that most of the time somebody else is filming. So somebody's going to catch it. So why right. would you not at least say something? I mean, he says he would step in front of them. That's not always feasible just where you are, where they are. But I, I'm at least going to shout. I'm at least going to yell at the cop. I'm not just going to sit there and film and watch silently. You know, I mean, that's, that's why this shit happens. Nobody steps up, but he is correct. The problem, though, is, and the reason why I said I'll step in in the middle, yelling's not going to stop him. Well, I was saying, but it depends on where you, you are in relation to what's going on. Right. That's not always a feasible solution. Right. Um, would I try and get in the way if You're that was an enough. option? Yeah, yeah, I would, because I'm also female. There is less likelihood, even between the two of us, for them to want to shoot an ar unarmed person. Caucasian female. Right. But the unfortunate truth is... It shouldn't be a thing. Yeah, the unfortunate truth is, though, as, you know, Samad is pointing out, like, even though he knows it's the right thing to say something, because of his complexion, he's more likely to get shot as well. Right. So, guys, we need to change this. This is not okay. Getting arrested with their neck bent Knowing if I saw it in real life and I stepped in Cops to use the weapon cause I don't have my complexion You don't need the math, I can see through the division Oh, can you beat the odds? We don't even have the system we you mm. Thank you, that's exactly You don't need the math That's exactly what I was saying We don't even out the system We don't call them out Like, yeah, there's all these videos going around and everything But we're, we haven't called them out before Right Like, it's a discussion for this year, but you know? Yeah, so I can see through the division, the racial tension, political tension, whatever, 
we're, we're mostly talking about racial and also police brutality kind of division right now. Right. And you can't beat the odds if you don't root out the problems. And yes, that was an intentional bar there for you because roots is part of the mathematics, unfortunately. But yeah, exactly what we were saying. If we don't say something, nothing will be done. Right. I can see through the division. Oh, can you beat the odds? We don't even out the system. We use the war on drugs to put your people in a prison. Your face gets your book profile, your existence. Mm. Facial profiling. We don't even out the system. We use the war on drugs. Using the war on drugs as an excuse. Right. To put you in prison. People in prison. And more like, specifically, black people. Yeah, it's racial profiling. It's facial profiling because he's talking about face, but also because of your skin tone. Um, and yeah, a lot of times the war on drugs has been used to put people away that were nonviolent, shouldn't have gone away, and were raised in an area where we're perpetuating and just kind of raising them up to fuel the prison system. Right. So. To put your people in a prison, your face gets your book profile, your existence. Listen, I don't really want to put a victim, but how can people tell me skin color don't make a difference? When I'm in the store, a manager never distant. You can't pull over more than a car with the windows tinted. Mm. Right. And skin mm -hmm. skin color does make a difference. It really does. Should it? No. no. So everyone going around saying uh, all lives matter, this, that, and the other. Yes, they do. But that is exactly what we're fighting for with Black Lives Matter. Their lives matter too, and so far have not been recognized as equal too. So. That is what they're saying. They're not saying your life doesn't matter. They're just saying we would like to be considered as humans. Thank you. Right. No, thank you. <laughs> skin color don't make a difference. When I'm in the store, a manager never distant. You get pulled over more than a car with the windows tinted. It's three strikes. And I like that too. Get pulled over more than a car with windows that are tinted. Right. Like. The cars are, windows are blacked out. Right. Car yeah. windows can be completely blacked out. But if they see a black person in the car. Mm -hmm. They've got to have something on them. They got to be doing something. They got to be up to something. Like, right. and that's how cops think, and it's bullshit. And the three strikes that I'm out, um, California. I don't know about other states. Has the three strike rule for prison system, and it does not matter what you went to prison for. You could be carrying personal smoke. You could be uh, minor, minor offenses, guys. But if you have gone to prison, and it is your third time going into the prison system, you're there for life. Yep. It's three strikes in your out rule. And then y'all pitching, talking about, again, baseball terms. Right. Difference when I'm in the store, a manager never distant. You get pulled over more than a car with the windows tinted. It's three strikes, then I'm out. Y'all pitching? Well, let me pitch in and shine it like a dime in these lines, leaving you fenced. Huh. I liked that. Well, let me pitch in. Talking about right. let me chime in. Um, and he says, and shine like a diamond. Shining he's, light in the darkness. Right. Shining light in the darkest darkness. And he's like, these lines leaving you fenced in. Right. It's three strikes, then I'm out. Y'all pitching? Well, let me pitch in and shine it like a diamond. These lines leaving you fenced in. Like Jackie Robinson, you getting played for your pig, man. Y'all behind the curve when we swerve. Mmm. Like a diamond, these lines leaving you fenced in. Like Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson, um, I think he's considered the first ever African American baseball player. Baseball player. Yeah, I knew that. So the diamond is Pro not just baseball like player. shining like a diamond, but also the baseball diamond. Right. Okay. Um,. And then you're getting played for your pigment. Um, he was demonized just because he wanted to play. Right. Yeah. He says, y'all behind the curve when we swerve. Curve is also a type of pitch. Curveball. It's right. curveball. And it tends um, to swerve at the end. Right. Yeah. But he's also saying, y'all are behind the curve when we swerve. So. Yeah. When we make a move, you're... Yeah. Three strikes, then I'm out. Y'all mm. pitching? Well, let me pitch in and shine it like a diamond. These lines leaving you fenced in. Like Jackie Robinson, you getting played for your pig, man. Y'all behind the curve when we swerve. White privilege. privilege. Could leave us divided. The voice silence is the only thing we get when we die in the... Yeah, well... And he's right. Um, Use your voice. Exactly. And, and again, I'm not saying you necessarily have to go out and protest every single time people are protesting. No. But there are so many things you guys could be doing, whether it's... Right. Donating mm -hmm. to to specific causes that are helpful. Voting, um, voting in your in your signing district, petitions. in your town, in your 
Yeah, I mean, they were talking about keyboard warriors before and, like, how that's not necessarily helpful in general. Like, posting memes and quotes and Twitter stuff isn't really helpful, guys. There's so many petitions that you could be signing. There are small votes just in your own area that all build up into your state into the country and most people focus on the presidential elections and ignore all the other stuff that right. they could be doing um stuff about the cops in in your area even sheriff elections you know if, right. if you're silent you, you're you're not helping you're not calling out the system right and I, li and I like how he worded that, too, where he says white privilege could leave us divided if white silence is the only thing we get when we're dying. Because white people, a, a lot of them, I'm not going to say all of them, but a lot of them definitely have that mind state of, well, it's not happening to me. Why do I right. care? Why should I care? Right. And maybe not so much of, like, why should I care, but why should I get involved? Why should I risk myself? Right. For and honestly, that's the mentality across the board is why should I risk myself for someone else and that's right we wouldn't be here if we had all chimed in that it was wrong when it was wrong yeah right. Your pig man, y'all behind the curve when we swerve. White, white privilege. privilege can leave us divided. If white silence is the only thing we get when we die, and if you wanna be united, what you gonna do to ignite it? Cause nothing ever gonna change if it's only one sided. You ain't the only one sided. Right. I see the streets and the violence that people need. I like that. If it's only one sided, and then. Cause nothing ever gonna change if it's only one sided. Right. You ain't the only. And he says, you ain't the only one sided. One sided, going back to what was just said in the terms of the division, but you're not the only one who sees what's right. going on. Yeah. And, and then he goes on to say, I, I see the streets and the violence. Right. I see the streets and the violence. The people need in a guidance. The evil deeds of compliance. And we need leaders, not silence. It's time to ask questions. Track ledges. Protest the back peddlers. Invest in black communities and back measures. Right. Hold on. I like that. We need leaders, not silence. Right. Because, again, we need people to step up and fight. Say that this is wrong. And I think the bar before was the one about evil compliance. And that's just, it's evil in terms of, like, just not doing anything. Right. Like, you're standing by it and letting it happen, and therefore it is compliance. Right. Yeah. And then, he's, as he's saying, it's time... Silence, it's time to ask questions, track ledges, pro... It's time to ask questions, track ledgers, like actually pay attention to what's going on. Right. Protest the... Back peddlers, the people who aren't keeping up with their word. Right. Where's the money going to in terms of track ledgers? Invest in black communities and back measures. Right. I, I love the way that they're doing this. Test the back peddlers, invest in black communities and back measures. To educate and write the privilege, fight addiction, shine a light on mental health in these conditions. Right. To educate and write the privilege. Because there should be no privilege. It should just be everybody being equal. Right. But unfortunately, at this point, we do have to backtrack, which is the back measures. Right. Because, like I said before, we've perpetuated this cycle of educating them just enough to fund our prison system. So a lot of these areas, like, yeah, they need that kind of back money in order to start educating them, bringing them up to the par that everybody else started with so right. that you know we can fight addiction a lot of those areas are the drugs is the money that's the source of money so they're flooded it's an old white but it's time to give a hand raise up for black lives make a stand and i like that i know i'm white but it's time to give a hand I'm talking about raising your fist up right. raise up for black lives make a stand i like that 100% agreed. Oh, I like the wings. <laughs> I, uh, that beat was killer. They both killed it, and the message that they came with? That was powerful. I really liked that. No Marvel references, though. Well, I mean, they did have some villain bars and some gamer bars, though. I mean, like, it wasn't a complete loss S for the nerd in you. Samad still wins. He had horror character mentions. He he did. We're sorry, sorry Nox. Nox. We love you, but... Yes. Uh, both of you killed this. I really liked the way that you worded stuff. Uh, by the way, you do do puns. So don't lie. <laughs> don't lie. All rappers do. The good exactly. rappers. <laughs> but really enjoyed this. Absolutely. It's fantastic. Y'all fucking killed this. 
I, th there's really nothing more to say. Like, you guys did an outstanding job here. We'll be listening yeah. to this one again. Uh, honestly, most of the battle sessions that Knox Hill has done, because of the caliber of the people that he's uh, done these with and the way that they've kind of made them work without being true disc battle type things, I, I'll replay. I'll listen to again because they've come out more like a track that they they just wrote together right yeah very enjoyable guys very all right so it's an hour long lovely hey you wanted. challenged us That's you challenged us you should have known oh man Alright, so we're going to end it here. If you guys like the video, slash that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Comment down below what did you think of Knox Hill, Knox Hill and, and Samad Savage. Savage. Thank you. Endgame. Endgame. Hey, my words started coming better towards Samad that. Samad Savage. It's the Brit in me. Leave me alone. If you guys like the video, slash that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Comment down below what did you think I don't know what guys. he expects from me, guys. Of these guys and in game. <laughs> also, comment down below if there's anything <laughs> else you guys want to see reacted to. Check the description below for all the things. Push our buttons. Come join us on our other social media platforms, mostly Twitter, if you want a more immediate response. <laughs> and that's a great place to drop requests for other things you want us to watch. Yes. We love you guys. He's going to just leave so he can shake his head at me for the next 15 minutes. Thank you all for watching. We love you. We cannot wait <laughs> to see you to brave people later. Peace. <laughs>